welcome back to another video. I'm going to bring you with me today as I go to Five Below. I'm going to try to grab a few items for Easter goodies for nieces and nephews. I have a few things here, but I just want to make it all even and nice. And I got one basket that needs to go to Colorado, so I got to get that ready. So I'm going to bring you along to Five Below, get some Easter shopping done. Maybe some things for the teachers. I don't know. We'll see what we see when we get there, what we find. My kids definitely don't need anything else for Easter because, as you saw, I went a little overboard on baskets, which I do. This hat doesn't fit with these glasses, which I do every year. That's that's a thing. I did want to address that. Okay, I need my other glasses because this is not going to work. Where are my other glasses? Here they are. Um, I did want to address that. I don't have to, but I am going to started and get driving here all right so one thing I did want to address was I got the comment and I've got a couple comments and I got comments on the Christmas video as well of going overboard and too much stuff and all of that um, just to give a background I don't think it's anybody's business but I did want to just kind of put this out there for you know food for thought I guess um, I grew up very poor and I grew up um, in a very terrible situation. My childhood was crap. Um, it took a lot, a lot, a lot of years to... Well, there's a house for sale in our neighborhood. I didn't know that. Um, it took a lot, a lot, a lot of years to... And I'm still working on... Um, healing from my childhood trauma. And so, yes, I tend to go a little overboard on the kids because... Being a mom is something that I never thought that I would do. It's something that I didn't want to do when I was younger. And now that I am a mother to kids and didn't think that I'd be able to have kids, and now I have three beautiful, wonderful children, um, I'm very blessed in that aspect. I take my job as a mother very seriously. <laughs> and I love to indulge them, and I love to make their childhood as magical as possible. Um, I, that's just an explanation. I came from a shit childhood and so now I try to make their childhood as easy and as uh, childhood-like, childhood-indulged as possible. Uh, while still, you know, balancing out the aspects of teaching them how to become self-sufficient and become good humans. So there's that. So yes, I do go overboard with the kids for Christmas, for birthdays, for for everything that I, that I can. If I can do it financially, I'm going to probably do it or find a way to make you know their holidays extra special. Part of it is is me, and just to be completely honest with you, I am the the truth of you know not having a childhood uh, as a child, reliving or actually living my first childhood through my children's child childhoods <laughs> through my children's eyes. Um, it's a very real thing for me. Um, it's a very real thing for I think a lot of. Uh, victims uh, of, of trauma um, as you become a mother and as you heal seeing a uh, childhood through your children's eyes and I'm sure people who didn't come from that kind of background seeing um, seeing things through your child's eyes is probably for everyone very um, very um, special and healing for me and so I do live vicariously, I guess you could say, through my children, while still giving them their space to be their own individual people. So there's that. And now this intro is four minutes long, so I'm just going to bring you along, and uh, we're going to go to five below, because that's probably all I have time to do today. I don't want to spend a ton of money on, you know, Easter items, but I do kind of want to make my nieces and nephews a little something. I get them something for, like, Halloween, and I get a little basket, and for Valentine's Day, and uh, for Easter's, and birthdays, and stuff like that. So, and I do have a birthday coming up for uh, one of my nieces, so I need to grab something for her as well. So, we are going to do that today. Go to five below and then I gotta come back and my, uh, my daughter has a school concert today. So, we will be doing that. So, let's get going to five below. Holy cow, made it into town, but the wind is like gusting. 60 to 80 miles an hour or something stupid like that so <laughs> it looks like there's like zero visibility but i grabbed some air 
So I'm gonna have one real quick. I just grabbed half a sandwich. The one at the mozzarella, but they were out of pepperoni. The pepperoni mozzarella one. So I got, what is this? The Smokehouse Barbecue Chicken. I've never had that one. I forgot it came with chips. I haven't had Panera in a long time since I, probably since I lived in Colorado. So, four years ago. Oh, I forgot to ask for no onions. How gross. Ew. Ew. Looks good though. Besides that. Yum. Alright. I'm gonna finish this. Then we'll go in. taste it it's like dirt in my eyes and my mouth like I can feel it on my skin it's crazy today um there are like mounds of dirt on the pavement it's so it's bad I should have stayed home <laughs> anyways got two bags from five below kind of a lot of stuff so I'm gonna show you what I got now from five below got these 25 cent reusable bags because I'm always looking for bags like this to carry things to um, soccer practice and soccer games and gymnastics practice so can't have too many of these plus where we live we still have um, plastic bags but I think eventually and I don't know how much longer we'll be here actually but I think eventually everything will go to reusable bags so I'm just you know I'm preparing for that that day so let me go to this bag first the other bag because this has less items so I got this even though it's uh, open a little bit and you can see how, how bad the dirt is like the store was getting like dirt that you can feel it like on the books and stuff it was it was nuts um, just from the wind um, and the uh, the little white dry erase marker is missing but I've been looking for something like this to put the menu on and it has this because the one that goes on the refrigerator the I just I don't really care for it I I have used it for quite a while but I wanted something a little bit prettier and that can hang in the kitchen and I can write on and uh, this just looks a little bit more cohesive with the home decor than than the just white plain dry erase board on the refrigerator I'm gonna give that one to my daughter though because she likes to She's been writing lists in the morning and the evening, like of her morning and evening routines. <laughs> she's seven <laughs> and she's adorable. So I'm gonna give that one to her so she can use that. Um, but for my nephew, my oldest nephew, I grabbed this um, like wireless speaker that you can like hook onto a backpack. He's in a bunch of sports. Um, he's the oldest one of our family, the oldest kid. So um, I figured something like this he could use like when he's you know, out sporting events or um, his little brothers and sisters are starting to get into sports now too so he spends a lot of time like at the field in the car so something like this I thought he would enjoy put that in his basket or whatever I decide to make I don't know if I'm gonna do baskets this year or last year I did those like Dollar Tree bunnies and I just put their name on it and uh, like a big Dollar Tree those big Dollar Tree egg type things um, so I might do something like that. I'm not sure yet. The other things that I grabbed, um, I needed some earrings, so I just grabbed this package. looked fine. This needs some studs, so grabbed a package of a bunch of different types of earrings. The things that I did grab for my kids, throw them all out here. I am so over them fighting over chargers for all their electronics. I think this is it. 
Um, so I got them each like the wall charger and a cord. So for instance, this is what my daughter's will look like. And it has the wall charger that matches. They don't all match, but they're all different. So I figured if they were all different, then we won't be fighting over cords because her brothers are not gonna want this one. So it's pink and girly. And so I got this one for my daughter, then for my um, littlest guy, just a green, one with the green. And my oldest, I couldn't find a blue cord, but I got him the blue wall piece and a red cord. So they will all have their own charger and hopefully won't be fighting over them. Whose charger is who belongs to whom. So that's it from that bag. Now, from the other bag, there's kind of a lot of stuff here, so as you can see, I've failed in my um, attempt to stop drinking soda. <laughs> That's another story for another day. So I grabbed a bunch of these $1 chucks for the nieces and nephews. I'm going to put in their, their baskets or their bags. So one, two, three, four, five. have five nieces and nephews, uh, two nieces and three nephews, so there, that will be one for each of them. The other thing for my oldest nephew, I just grabbed this one dollar like little football, foam rocket football, because uh, I grabbed the other ones like a little bucket, which I'll show here in a minute, and that, that was a little too young for him, so I figured something like this he could play with. What else? My daughter has been requesting these nerd ropes, so I grabbed a whole bunch of them, like four or five of them, that I'm going to throw in her Easter basket, because that's the candy she's been asking for, and they are in the Easter theme with the little Easter bunnies, the Easter bunny nerds, so that will take care of her request. I got a little like teeny bit of footage in the store. There were so many people in there today and I'm just not comfortable filming, but there was a few fun items that I didn't end up getting because I couldn't figure out like who would want them and if they would actually be worth the money, <laughs> spending the money. So I didn't get them, but I did um, get a little video of them. So I'll show that to you. I saw that before I started talking. So um, anywho, all kinds of people out today. Doesn't anybody work anymore? <laughs> As my, my grandfather used to say that all the time whenever we had to go for an, one of his appointments or something. Does anybody have a job anymore? And his grouchy, his grouchy old man. Um, it's Friday, by the way, and I took today off again. <laughs> so I should just uh, not complain about it. Jelly beans. I needed these for Easter egg fillers, and these were in the Fruit Loop jelly beans. Um, I thought those sounded fun, so I grabbed a package of those. Also for egg filler, I grabbed these. Sour taffy, oh, like uh, airheads. So that would be fun. For my nieces and nephews, there's another one of those nerd ropes. Nieces and nephews that are little, um, my brother in law and sister in law have decided to have all their kids in a row. Bam, bam, bam. So they have one older one and then they have. What do they have? A three? They either go four, three, and almost two, or they go three, two, and almost two. I don't know. They're like back to back to back. So little ones. So I grabbed all these little mini beach buckets. Some for the girls, some for the boys. And then I also have a nephew in Colorado um, that is, she's my cousin, but she's like a sister. So it is my nephew, my sister. Um, he is three, no, he's four. And so I grabbed him a little bucket too. The boys' buckets have this little crab guy on it. The girls have a little pineapple. I thought those would be cute to dig in the, the dirt with. My um my my nephews and nieces that live here uh, with my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, um, they are building a house out on land, so they have a ton of dirt to play in. So I thought that would be fun. Let's see. So they all got one of those. There's a bunch of those little buckets. For them and then for them also, I got some peeps. 
also the um, girls got these sparkly wildberry peeps. And the boys, I got a couple different ones for the boys. I got these yellow ones, little packages of peeps. And I'll just stop one. I think I got a blue package. Maybe I got them all the yellow package. I don't know. The girls, I got a couple different ones, pink ones. The boys got the yellow ones. So pink and purple and yellow peeps. I have my oldest nephew here. He is a huge fan of Reese's. So I got him a few different types of Reese's to put in his basket. I got a Reese's egg too, but I cannot find it right now. Here it is. Looks like that. A little Easter egg. And then for myself, I got this cup. It has my last name initial on it. And it's really cute. It has like the coral inside. And it's a nice size for coffee. I drink about three or four cups of coffee a day while I'm coding. If you're new here, I'm a medical coder. I sit at home at my desk for eight hours a day, sometimes more, coding. So coffee is helpful. For my pup, I got her one of these carabiner poop bags to put on her collar. My Husband and kids took her out the other day and she didn't have a poop bag and she had to go so then they had to go clean that up. So yeah, a poop bag. Poop bag dispenser. For myself also, which this is gonna be stolen from me almost immediately unless I hide it. Um Care Bears. Uh what are these called? They're not lined, but they are dotted. Like a to-do, I, I use these like for my daily to-dos, my weekly to-dos, cleaning lists, um, meal plans, stuff like that. So usually have, you know, one or two notebooks going at a time. So I'm going to try to give that one good use, but I know as soon as my daughter sees it, she's going to take it. She's a thief. She's a thief of joy. That's everything that I grabbed today from Five Below. So I'll probably bring you along as I make those baskets. I'm gonna run in right now. I have a few minutes here. Let's see what time I have to leave. I have a few minutes. I might run in here to Dollar Tree and see if they have like the little baskets that I can grab. I might do that. It's a little bit clear. It's clearing up a little bit. I think there's more um, buildings over here, so it's not quite as bad of the the, the wind bringing. I have toothpaste in my hair. Of the wind bringing the the sand and the dirt over, so. I'm gonna run into Dollar Tree real quick. That is so gross. <laughs> All right, I'm back out from another store and I'm done shopping today. I'm gonna run to the bank actually and get the cash to do my cash wallets, my cash wallet and cash stuffing stuff. Um, but I did find the baskets at the Dollar Tree that I wanted. So I got two of the pink and one of the blue and the bunnies. This will be for my nephew in Colorado will get this one, and then my niece is here with a little pink ear bunny. I got each of them one of these cute carrot lentils, like the chocolate lentils. I have been seeing I had seen those on a few dollar or a few Easter basket videos, but I couldn't last time I came I didn't have any, so I couldn't find any in our Dollar Trees. I went to two and they finally had restocked them, so I got a couple of those. And then for my other two nephews, this was kind of perfect because I have one that loves football and one that loves soccer. So I grabbed one of each of those buckets. I'm gonna use my Cricut machine to put their names on the buckets and put their names like, probably just put their names right below here. Maybe like put Happy Easter on the ears or something. So that is it. I'll get those stuff and show you what that looks like here in, well, for you, it'll be right here in a second, but for me, it'll be a couple days. <laughs> so I'll see you back in a little bit. Stuff those baskets and I'll show you what they look like.
just like Fruit Loops. They're so good. Hi, girly. Okay, so the Easter baskets for my nieces and nephews are all complete. I can't wait to get these out. Some of them turned out really cute. Um, this one, I wish that the the name would have turned out a little bit stronger, but it's still personalized. It's still from the heart, so I'm, you know, I I love the way that they came out. Um, just the right amount of items for the baskets. So I showed you everything already, so I won't take everything out and show you. The only thing that I really added was um, to my nieces and nephews in here in Texas. I got them like a little bit of jelly beans and a candy in this Easter egg. And for my nephew in Colorado, instead of doing that, I got him a box of candy because I didn't want this to open up in the mail and spill all over the place. So his is just a little bit different with the box of candy. And I also had this hanging out in our... Um, gift items so I think he's probably the only one uh, age wise that would like that or appreciate that uh, watch so I'm going to give that to him other than that it just has their little items in there everything you've already seen the chalk, the peeps and the baskets are complete this is what they look like my nieces my oldest nephew this is what his looks like He's a soccer player, has some candy in the back, and then my, uh, his brother is a little guy, but is in love with football, so this is what his looks like, and I'm excited to give them to them next weekend, and I'm excited I'm going to get this sent off in the mail tomorrow, so hopefully it'll get there on time. But otherwise, that's what all these baskets look like for nieces and nephews this year. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We'll consider sticking around and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.